our oral health, our teeth are so important when it comes to taking care of it the right way. And unfortunately, with the foods that we eat today, the sugars, the sodas, the starchy foods, we can develop this sticky plaque that starts to form onto our teeth. And if the plaque is not removed, it hardens into tartar. And this sticky film that we call plaque is bacteria. And this bacteria sits on our teeth and it forms acids. And these acids eventually start to erode our teeth, our enamel, that causes cavities. But the problem with this, this can eventually eat away bone. It can affect your gums where it starts to recede. And without proper oral hygiene, our teeth are going to rot and they're eventually going to come out of our mouth. And if you take your tongue right now and start moving it around in the front of your teeth or behind your teeth, lower and upper, you may feel this gritty substance. That's called plaque. The problem with this bacteria is that this leads to halitosis, bad breath. And if you notice that your gums are red, swollen, or tender, and they bleed after brushing, then that's what we call gum disease, all stemming initially from that plaque. And plaque and tartar is what leads to our cavities, gingivitis, and periodontal gum disease, severe gum infections that we call periodontitis, tooth decay and loss, as well as the tooth infections that's an abscess tooth. And yes, that's why our dentist tells us to brush regularly a couple times a day, to remove that plaque, to prevent that tartar, and again, to preserve your teeth so they can stay healthy. Now, everyone has heard about baking soda. Yes, this is sodium bicarbonate 100%. And we use this as an antacid, but this can be used for many things within our house. Now, who would think of taking some plain baking soda with some water, making a paste, putting it on our toothbrush and brushing our teeth? Well, this will definitely remove that plaque and prevent that tartar. And putting that baking soda mixed with water leads to the release of free radicals, which help break up plaque on the teeth and surface stains. Not only is baking soda effective in removing that plaque, it will help neutralize those acids that helps kill bacteria. And if you notice about all those toothpastes worldwide, so many of them today have baking soda in it. But by having a little baking soda at home, using it straight up, mixing with water, brushing nice and lightly like you normally would brush, and leaving it on your teeth for 10 to 15 minutes will do remarkable things to help dissolve that plaque and prevent that tartar from occurring within your teeth and gums. So baking soda will reduce the acidity and plaque that leads to eroded enamel of our teeth, as well as increases our risk of tooth decay. It helps regulate your mouth's pH by neutralizing the acid. And it has the ability to help whiten your teeth. And it has antibacterial properties to reduce the occurrence or accumulation of bacteria in your mouth that causes that decay or periodontal disease. And if you suffer from mouth sores or ulcers, baking soda can help speed up the healing. And so be aware of the foods that you're eating, those packaged, refined, processed foods, those sugars, those excessive flours, just eventually turn into plaque if you don't take care of it. And eat those foods in the whole state, those foods that have not been refined and processed, those foods that have fiber. So I hope this video serves you well. Please share it with your friends and family. And remember, take care of your oral health. And I only wish you good health. Please leave your comments below because I'm sure there'll be many that would like to read them. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.